Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to dual boost your Steam Deck with Steam OS and Windows. As you can see here, we have upgraded our SSD to 1 terabyte with 900 plus usable storage. So first thing we need to do is to power off our device. So let's shut it down. We need to re-image our Steam Deck to get a fresh Steam OS. Just insert the bootable Steam Deck recovery to the device and then hold um, volume down plus the power button. Just quickly release the power button once you hear the boot up sound. From the boot manager, find and select your USB device. It may also take a while during the first boot. Once booted home, find and select re-image Steam Deck. A pop-up window will appear, just hit proceed. Once re-imaging is finished, you will be advised to reboot your Steam Deck. Do not do it yet, just click cancel since we still need to repartition our device. Now for us to install the Windows OS, we need to divide or split the internal storage. This is called repartitioning. Just go to the application, application launcher, um, select system, then select or choose the key KDE Partition Manager. On the left side, make sure you select the internal storage of your device. And on the center, you will see all of your partitions. Just look for the partition label that indicates home. This is your total SSD storage. Just right click it, then choose resize or move. You'll notice this strip bar. Drag this to the left to resize the storage or you can also manually input the desired size below. I suggest you use a mouse when doing this, then click OK once done. Now if you scroll down again, you will see a new partition. This is below the home partition, so this is the one that we just made. So we have successfully divided or split our internal storage. So next thing we need to do is to make this new or unknown partition compatible to Windows OS. So we need to format it into NTFS. Let's right click, choose new, select NTFS as file system, then hit OK. Just scroll down to select the NTFS, then click OK. As you can see here, the partition type becomes in TFS from a known partition. Now to save all the changes we made, we need to hit apply. Just proceed apply pending operations and then just wait and let it do its thing. Once done, just restart your Steam Deck. Now we need to set up our Steam Deck just like new since we'll be needing it for later. You can also verify once you have set up the Steam Deck, you can also verify your storage in the settings menu. As you can see here, it's now 400 plus gigabytes from 900 plus gigabytes. Once done, just shut down the device. 
we would suggest you use a USB dongle or dock for this in order to connect the mouse and the keyboard and the bootable Windows 10 or 11. In this case, we're using the Windows 11. Let's insert our bootable USB along with the keyboard and the mouse. Now open again the boot manager by holding the volume down plus the power button. Then select your bootable USB. Booting the USB may take a while. Just proceed and follow the installation guide. Here you need to choose the partition we created earlier, the one we converted into NTFS format. Uh, just choose it and then click next to proceed. Once booted into Windows system, we can fix the orientation by right clicking and select display settings, scroll down and look for orientation, change it to landscape. You can save the Windows drivers in a separate USB to avoid confusion. Link to these drivers will be provided in the description box. Let's connect the USB and install all the drivers, the usual installation we do on PC. Once done with the installation, just shut down your Steam Deck. Open again boot manager and choose Steam OS to, to boot into the Steam system. Once booted, go to power and select switch to this desktop mode. From there, Click Quick Settings, go to Users, under Personalization, on the right choose Change Password, assign your new password, then click Set Password once done, and choose Leave Unchanged for the password wallet, for the wallet password. Once you have your new password, just close the window. Now you need the commands for the console, either you open the Firefox browser, and search for the command 
or you copy the command from the description I provided below. Just copy each line, then paste it into the console. The last command will require you with the password we just made earlier. Provide it and you're good to go. You will also be prompted to install a shortcut of the Refine JUI on the desktop. Just choose Yes. You can now restart the device to see or to check if you have a dual boot menu option or you can also customize the dual boot icons and background by using the Refined GUI. We've successfully dual booted our Steam Deck but we had a slight issue with the icon. The refined GUI would fix this. That's it. Hope the video helps. See you in the next one.